what we have here is a water analogy where we want to compare a DC circuit to the flow of water. So here on the diagram on the left is a DC voltage source with an electron flow going in this direction from the minus blue terminal to the red terminal. In between these two terminals is a light bulb which can be modeled as a resistor. Here we're choosing the voltage and pressure to be low. So you can think of the voltage as water pressure. Now the diagram on the right is our water pump analogy in which it's operating at a low speed in which you have an upper tank and a lower tank and in between these two points is our water driven turbine with a given height associated with the lower and in the upper. Now when you have a greater water difference in the height for example we go from here to here we're increasing our pressure and therefore we're doing more work with this water driven turbine. Same thing with the DC voltage source. We have an electron flow. There's a greater voltage difference, which is analysis, analogous to the upper water tank when compared with the lower tank. A greater voltage difference implies a greater height distance with the water analogy. So the greater the difference, which is in this case for a DC voltage source, the greater the voltage difference, then the greater the amount of work you can do. So I'll just alternate between low you can see the speed is lower and the voltage difference is lower shown here and the height difference is lower. On the other hand with a greater voltage difference you can see we get greater electron flow and greater turbine flow with the water pump analogy. So think of the voltage source as a pressure pump. So it's forcing flow of electrons through the circuit. That is the DC voltage source.